So this is this AI coding tool that I've been working on recently. What this tool lets you do is it lets you load an entire project into it and let an AI run over the entire project to implement features on a, a broad level. So basically, on the, what we have over here is uh, my code project. And what I'm actually doing is pointing this project at itself. So it's been adding features to itself uh, sort of since I got the, the base level of functionality here. Uh, so I'm going to put a prompt in here. I have one already. Uh, recently, I added the ability to separately select the code selection AI from the code completion AI. And I say that I've added the ability to use a separate provider for code selection. Can you save the state of the box to the session data? So this is really easy. Basically, it just I just want to save the state of uh, this drop-down box here into the session data with everything else. So the way that this works is um, you can either select the files that you want to send to the AI, which in this case would probably be the main form in the session data, uh, or you can let the AI do that itself. Um, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to pick an AI that has a big context window, like Gemini 1.5, and I'm going to use GPT-01 to actually complete the code. Uh, and I'm going to run this, and we're going to see what happens. Uh, so the first thing that happened is the AI selection happens, and it should pull out relevant files that are needed to make the change. And it actually did this very intelligently. It found the two files that we needed to do this. And then it's going to run the AI across the, the project and implement the changes. In this case, this is a really simple change, so it should be a really easy example. This usually takes about a minute or so. I'll fast forward the video so it's not boring. So uh, we see the AI came back here, and the first thing it did is it told us a summary of the changes that it made. Added functionality to save and load the state of the selection box, provider selection, and the session data, including updates for session management logic. Uh, the red highlighted files here are the ones that it actually changed, uh, which makes sense. So we'll take a look at these session data. This is basically showing me a set of changes that uh, it's proposing to me. So you can see here that it added a selection model, which is perfect. That's the right change to do. And if we go into the main form here, uh, we should see uh, a change to the save session data and the save loads and the load session data. So what I can do here now is I can just click accept all changes and that's it. Then I've, I've implemented that feature.